On a Friday night in 1923, the Hill in Boulder was the place. Seems like nothing's changed in a hundred years as the sink is still the spot to have a beer on a Friday night. If you haven't been here yet, it's time. So for those weird, crazy people out there that have not been here yet, um, tell us what makes the sink so kooky and awesome and different from any other restaurant. Well, um, it's kind of a dungeness feel in yeah. here, um, but it's got great food. Um, the art on the walls from hundreds of years ago, right? 80 years ago, yeah. up on the walls, all the history on the tables. It's really just a really unique place that doesn't look like this from the outside. Yeah, it's so true. You walk in and it feels a little dungeonous, but then every single table that you sit down at, I mean, I've been at a bunch of different tables over the years and I've learned so much because everyone is different, right? Like, tell me about the table we're sitting at now. <laughs> so this one's actually Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives and Good versus Evil. So Guy Fieri came in and did Triple D and then they did the Good and Evil with uh, Anthony Bourdain and Rupert. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of what this table is segmented to me. That's so cool. So you learn so much about the history of Boulder and the sink just being here in the restaurant, which is amazing. We met tobogganing up on Chautauqua in the winter, and we both wore glasses at the time. So she held my glasses, and I held hers, and <laughs> one of the five memories of Boulder and the sink, and, right. and our, our daughter is both right great from CU, and so lots, and of, lots, lots of family memories. Let's go back 100 years. You guys are celebrating 100. Yeah. Congratulations, Thank you. of Thank course. You. Tell me a brief history of the sink and how we got to this point. Okay, so I guess the sink started in 1923. Um, it was actually named the Summer's Sunken Gardens. Okay. And they actually had a sunken fountain out in the middle of the other room back here. Wow. And that sunken fountain resembled a sink, I guess. Okay. And that was the nickname. So then in 1949, when the Pudlicks had bought the sink or Summer Sutton Gardens, they officially changed the name to the sink in 1949. Oh, wow. And then here we are, seven, I think it's seven ownership groups later, celebrating 100 years. Amazing. Okay, so who are some of the more notable people that you guys have had in here? Uh, some of the more notable people that we've had in here, well, let's just start with in the 50s, Robert Redford. He wow. was here on a CU scholarship, so he was actually a janitor here. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> And then, you know, Barack Obama is a big one, Anthony Bourdain, Guy Fieri, the list goes on. I mean, we just did Lee Corso's face. We painted him up on the front wall, yeah. our famous wall, uh, for his 400th game day pick. Wow. And uh, he came in and signed it. So, yeah, so pretty cool. cool. Yes. Lots of notables. Definitely. I want to talk about some of the food and the beer that we have here today, too. So, you guys, obviously, 100 years, I'm sure that some things have changed, but are some things kind of the same, too? Yeah, there's your staples that stay, like we'll just say burgers, pizzas, sandwiches and salads, right? That's what we're gonna be. Yeah. We've tried one-offs here and there. Some are successful, some are not. Pizzas and burgers will always stay, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, the original Sink Burger uh, can still be on the menu through FACs, but right now we have a bourbon jalapeno that just went on and that was featured on Man Vs. Food. That is fantastic. Yeah. And then this is a POTUS pizza, P-O-T-U-S, for President of the United States. This is what Barack Obama uh, had. Oh so gosh. this will stay. The Cowboy Reuben that Guy Fieri did yeah. on his show will stay. There's, there'll be some ones that stay, but we like to mix it up, and especially seasonally. We're actually from Greenville, South Carolina. My wife pulled up on the internet, best place to eat in Boulder, and it was the sink. So that's why we're here, and we're extremely satisfied. We spent quite a bit of time here. We were just talking about beer at the sink. Uh, the 100 year anniversary, and so we wanted to celebrate our memories of 50 years ago. Right. 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 And, and the beer. <laughs> you have to tell us about this beer here, too. It's to celebrate 100 years, right? Right, yeah. So this is a uh, brewed by Avery. We The name is 1923. It is actually one of their pale ales that they will dry hop for us right before they send it to us. Um, and it's actually our number one selling beer. Oh, cheers to that. Cheers. And we have to taste it. 
nice and hoppy. It tastes like a CU Buffalo's win. That's right? That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Some hints of win in right, there. Yeah. Okay, good. Just making sure. Amazing. So let's talk about some of the traditions. This is a place, of course, for the students when they've come uh, over the years. They've kind of, I'm sure, built their own traditions around coming to the sink. What are some of the ones that you've heard over the years? Well, you have the sink shop for turning 21. Yes. You know about that. I unfortunately do. And then yeah. we also, I think the most famous one is uh, graduation. The students that will line up at the door at 6.30 a.m., yeah. even though we're not open till 7, they'll be 15 wide and two blocks down. <laughs> Just being that eager to come in to have a drink and sign their name before they go off to commencement. That's right, yeah. and I have to say right now, that's rain or shine or snow. Yes. <laughs> my graduating year, it was snowing. Oh, I've and seen it a few times. We were here. There's no vibe like the sink vibe. Yeah. All right, Tell well, cheers. All right, cheers. Congratulations to 100 years. Thank you. And go Buffs. Go Buffs. Go Buffs. Go Buffs. We spent a lot of time here one way or another. Central to see you Boulder scene, you know, really it's iconic there. So it's just a fun place to come back to and relive old memories and be with, with friends and, and special people. Go Buffs! All right, you guys, I have some really fond memories of the sink from when I was here in Boulder. And to be able to celebrate the sink's 100-year anniversary properly, we wanted to be up here in Boulder to do just that. But rather than be at the sink, we are here at the History Museum of Boulder. This is so wonderful. And I'm here right now with Bob Yates. And Hi. Bob, it's so beautiful in here. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here. We really appreciate it. Of course, of course. Okay, so tell us why this is so special for you guys to have this exhibit here. Well, in addition to the sink turning 100 this yes. year, the Museum of Boulder is actually turning 80 years old. Oh, wow. And um, our, our mission's always been around history. And so we like to collect history of the great things that happen in our community yes. and then share them. You know, and it's more than just nostalgia. It's more than just an anniversary because it's an opportunity for people in our community to reflect on the past yeah. and help them plan for the future. Yes, that is so true. And there's so much to, to look at here. You know, obviously the sink exhibit is so beautiful, but walking through uh, the museum itself, you know, just checking out everything, the history of Boulder, there's so much to see. So, so wonderful. Now, what has it meant to the patrons of the sink, the uh, people of Boulder, the CU students to have an exhibit here for the sink at the museum? Well, you know, I, I kind of think of, of the sink as almost like a portal. Yes. You know, a lot of towns <laughs> that host universities almost have two towns. They have the college part of the town and the non-college part of the town. Yeah. And the sink's really a place where people can cross over, yeah. whether they're students or community members. They can get together even for an hour or two and see how other folks live in our community. Yes, it's so true. So we met a couple at the sink uh, that had met here in Boulder, and yeah. they live in Boulder, and they go back to the sink to be able to celebrate yeah. their love and their friendships with people. And it's just so wonderful to see the sink be that hub, uh, like you just said. Now. I, everybody has a sink story, especially yeah. if they're here in Boulder. Anything resonate with you for the sink? You, you know, I remember the very first time I went to the sink. We moved in Boulder, uh, my wife and I, in 2001. Okay. And I remember going to the sink a few, uh, shortly after we moved here. And I walked in there and I thought, oh my God, this place is a dive. <laughs> with the graffiti on the wall right. and the low ceilings. I felt like I was in somebody's mother's basement. Yes. But over time, I came to realize the charm and the history of the place and how it's wonderful for people of all ages. Right. It is so true. And it's just so nice to, to go inside and feel comforted the second you walk in, right? I mean, I signed the ceiling at the sink when I graduated uh, Boulder, and uh, just to go back and kind of see my name and say, you know what, this place is really special. It means a lot to, to those of us who are here yes. in the community, which is so wonderful. So tell me, too, have there been really cool things that you've uh, learned throughout uh, this exhibit, things about the sink, about Boulder that you can share with us? Well, sure. Um, as we put together this 100th anniversary of the sink here in the Museum of Boulder, one of the things I learned that I didn't know yes. was when they, the sink was first created in 1923, it was supposed to be kind of a classy highbrow joint oh. and had a sunken garden, right. a fountain, a <laughs> European cuisine, but it was probably inevitable given its proximity to the university that it was going to turn into a place for students to hang out given their desires and needs and budgets. Of course, of course, yes, which completely makes sense. Well, Bob, we are so excited to be able to celebrate 100 years of the sink here with you guys. Uh, if people want to come and see this exhibit, uh, is it going to 
to be hanging around for a little bit? It'll be here at the Museum of Boulder until okay. mid-January, so Great. folks have another four or five weeks to come. Uh, for members, it's free of the Museum of Boulder. It's free, and for others, the admission is $10, and we hope that folks take advantage, especially during the holiday season, yes. to see the SYNC exhibit before it closes in mid-January. Absolutely. Well, Bob, thank you so much for taking the time. It's Pleasure. been so nice to talk to you about the SYNC and about the history of Boulder here. And guys, like Bob said, you have plenty of time to come and check out this incredible exhibit, along with a few other exhibits that you can see here uh, at the History of Boulder Museum. Now, uh, a big congratulations again to the SYNC for celebrating 100 years right here in Boulder. And if you haven't been to the restaurant yet, you can head in when you're up this way and check out their menu at thesync.com. And while you're here, again, visit the Museum of Boulder to see exhibits like this one. Check out museumofboulder.org for all the latest information on their happenings, events, and exhibits.